morning guys and welcome to another studio vlog here on the Painting Chic YouTube channel. My name is Victoria. We have some spring cleaning planned today. It's already April 20th. I'm going to try to organize my closet a bit. I'm going to go through some of my art supplies, pull out things that I haven't used or probably will never use and set them aside to donate. Oh, I've already set up my little studio nook. It's nice to have my little space and I have natural lighting out which is really really nice and something I've wanted for a really long time. And then later at night I'm hoping I'll be able to get to my commission. I've been going through some really rough ups and downs with that piece and right now it's more of a down but I'm hoping I can bring it up. I will bring you guys along for the cleaning and organizing for now. I will see you guys later in the vlog. Bye! Okay, so another update. These are the clothes that I'm gonna put out. That's a lot of clothes, oh gosh. This is just what's going back into the storage. And then there's some donations. So I'm wondering if any of you would be interested in some of the pieces that I'm planning on donating. I don't know, I've always considered opening one of those like shops where you sell your old clothes, like Depop. Is that a thing? But if you guys are interested, please let me know. Um, that would be awesome, you know, to, to know that my pieces are going to a home where they're going to be loved and used. I could donate whatever doesn't sell or whatever I think won't sell. But I'm noticing that some of the pieces that I'm getting rid of, they're not like really old and raggedy. They're just things that don't really fit into my current style. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments below. Maybe me opening a Depop shop. I don't know how that works, but I'll be willing to try it. Let me know. Okay, so all the stuff is now back in here that I don't want out. But 
this is now the pile that I have to get back in the closet. I don't know if this applies to anyone else, but I'm this weird type of hoarder. I really know that I have no use for something, like a certain shirt or like a shirt that doesn't even fit me anymore. But if there's like sentimental value behind it, like someone gave it to me when they traveled somewhere and I've never worn it, but like the thought of them is enough to want me to make me want to keep it. That's a problem I have. I don't know if you guys have any tips on like letting that material. It's not but anyways, yeah, I have a problem where I have too much stuff for that reason. So yeah, I don't know what to do. guys so I think I'm done organizing for the day um, I think I've made some good progress here is my little space with the new things that I hung up today I really didn't organize this area very much today but I still wanted to go ahead and show you guys at least the tops of my shelves I do eventually want to add in some more stuff to put on the walls here because it looks really strange what else my closet looks a lot emptier in a way. Again, there's still so much I could do. I could probably get rid of some of those shoes, but these two bags are filled with potential either donations or Depop things that I might sell. Yeah, make sure to comment below. You guys might be interested in me opening up a Depop shop because I do have plenty of stuff. And here's this desk area. It was just really messy. 
Oh, I should mention, I do have this printer. I've had it for a really long time, like a shamefully long time for however long it's taken me to actually put prints out because that's the reason I got it. It's huge. This is the kind that it is. Um, but yeah, it was like a, definitely an investment and I have not taken advantage of it, so gotta do that. So we've made it to the end of the vlogging portion. After all that cleaning, David came home, we ate dinner, and then I fell asleep. And now that I'm up, I was trying to get myself to work on the painting, but I think I'm just not feeling it today. You know, sometimes you just don't feel it and you gotta give yourself a break, I guess. I just want to work on it in the right mindset and not just keep approaching it while I hate it and don't want to do it. But instead I decided to work in my sketchbook. I've discovered Zozolini's YouTube channel. I hope I'm saying that right. I think her name is Zoe something. She does a lot of like sketchbook tours and pages in her sketchbook. Just seeing that made me want to work in mine. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll show you guys some of that and then we'll end it here. Please like, comment, hit that subscribe button for me so you can see more videos like this. It's been really fun today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you and I will see you guys in the next one.